Welcome to the Fippen Museum. I'm Neil McEwen, Education Coordinator at the Museum, and this is Fippen Highlights and Tall Tales. Today's presentation pulls together the work of two of Prescott's most prominent citizens, the art of George Fippen and the poetry of Gail Gardner. In 1917, Gail Gardner composed what is probably the most famous, and if not the most famous, the most widely repeated cowboy poem in the literature. Gail Irwin Gardner was born in 1892 in Prescott, uh, grew up here, attended college in Dartmouth, came back to Prescott and established himself in a small spread down in Skull Valley what he called a little greasy sack outfit. In 1917, on his way across country, he composed the Siri Peets. Here it goes. Way up high in the Siri Peets, where the yellow pines grow tall, old Sandy Bob and Buster Jig had a roe deer camp last fall. Well, they'd taken their horses and running irons and maybe a dog or two, Loud they'd brand all the long-eared calves that came within their view. And any old doggy that flapped long ears and didn't brush up by day got his long ears whittled and his old hide scorched in a most artistic way. Now one fine day, old Sandy Bobby throwed his sago down. I'm sick of the smell of burning hair and it allows I'm going to town. So they saddles him up and, he, and they hits him a lope for it weren't no sight of a ride. And then was the days when a buckaroo could oil up his inside. Well, they started her in at the Kentucky bar at the head of Whiskey Row, and they winds up down by the depot house some 40 drinks below. Then they sets him up and turns around and goes her the other way, and to tell you the godforsaken truth, them boys got stewed that day. As they was a riding back to camp of packing a pretty good load, who should they meet but the devil himself, a prancing down the road? Says he, you earn me cowboy skunks, you better hunt your holes, for I've come from the Hell's Rim Rock to gather in your souls. Says Sandy Bob, old bevel, devil be damned, we boys is kind of tight, but you ain't gonna gather no cowboy souls, thus you have some kind of a fight. So Sandy Bob punched a hole in his rope, and he swang her straight and true, and he lapped it on the devil's horns, and he'd taken his dallies, too. Now Buster Jig was a Riata man with his gut line coiled up neat, so he's shaking her out and he built him a loop and he lassoed the devil's hind feet. Well, they stretched him out and they tailed him down while the irons was a getting hot and they cropped and swallowed forked his ears and then they branded him up a lot. They pruned him up with a dehorning saw and they nodded his tail for a joke and then they rid off and left him there necked to a blackjack oak. If you're ever high in the Siri Peets and you hear one hell of a wail, you know it's that devil a bellering around about them knots in his tail. This is, uh, for want of a better word, a unique piece of Western art. You might even call it peculiar. But this is George Fippen at the top of his game. In 1959, the Gardner family got together and commissioned George to put together this painting for Gail Gardner's birthday. George did a lot of research on this, and this is uh, the end result. You see Sandy Bob in the foreground there, and behind him, Buster Jig. Now, by way of background, we can annotate this poem and pretty much establish its provenance. You see Thumb Butte in the background, and Thumb Butte is the tail end of the Siri Peets. The Siri Peets are the Sierra Prieta Mountains that extend from Thumb Butte back into the Bradshaws to the west of Prescott. What I like to tell folks is when English goes in or Spanish goes in a cowboy's ear, what comes out his mouth only bears a passing resemblance. 
So the Siri Peets are the Sierra Prieta. They talk about uh, buckaroo oiling up his inside. Well, a buckaroo actually comes from the Spanish for vaquero or cowboy. Vaca or baca for calf turned into buckaroo, buckaroo. And you see Sandy Bob there taking his dallies. That comes from the Spanish to Take a couple of twists. Dar la, vuelta, dar la vuelta in Spanish became Dally Welter. And a cowboy who practiced, it, practiced uh, his lasso that way was referred to as a Dally Welter and that later got shrunk down to Dally or Dallies. And you can see the smoke burning off that rope there. What they say about Dally Ropers is you can usually tell one because they're missing a finger or two. Sandy Bob, by the way, is Sandy Bob Heckle, who turned out to be Marty Robbins, the country singer's uncle. And Buster Jig, in the background there, is Gail Gardner. Gardner's father was James I. Gardner, or Jig, and little Gail was Buster, and he stuck with that nickname, Buster Jig. And the devil there is in the midst of a rodeo uh, routine that's heading and healing. They've got a rope around his horns, and Buster there has got his uh, riata around his heels. And they're going to stretch him out, and that's how you brand a calf. A couple of cowboys will stretch a calf out, and a third will come up and brand him up. Thanks for sharing your time with us. Come back and see us again, and we'll bring another piece of Prescott history and art tradition to life through the Fippins Collection.